Hey guys, this is Neil Holland again with Big League Tips, and today we are going to talk about the four seam fastball. Um, probably the most, uh, the, the biggest pitch to throw in baseball, uh, definitely the main pitch. Um, little things about four seam fastball, um, it's usually the most accurate pitch because it doesn't have a lot of movement, and uh, it's definitely the fastest pitch we can throw. Um, whenever we do throw a four seam, whenever it comes out your hands, that's why they call it a four seam because there's four seams spinning over each other uh, through the air. And that's what generates, that rotation is what generates a lot of spin and a lot of speed on the four seam. Um, if you are younger, uh, I have a lot of my younger kids that do use three fingers uh, just to make it feel a little bit better and a little bit more accurate uh, with this pitch. And then as you get older, you know, depending on your hand size, 11, 12 years old, uh, feel free to take the ring finger down to where we would use just two fingers for the four seam fastball. Um, and then even as you get older and a little bit stronger, um, if you feel like you can take your fingers in just a little bit like this, um, we usually can have a little bit of a looser grip, a little bit more of a flick on the ball. It generates a little bit more uh, spin and a little bit more speed with this ball as well. Um, kind of to break down a four seam real quick, uh, I call this the Cincinnati Red C, just like this. Uh, we're going to put our index finger and middle finger over these seams, just like this. Um, and where you see the seam, the top, this top seam kind of go up like this, we would put our index finger on the lower part and our middle finger right on the upper part like that, just because the index finger is a little bit uh, shorter than the middle finger, and so it just feels a little bit better, a little more natural. Um, for this type of grip right here, you are more than welcome to, to roll it up and throw it this way. I've thrown tons of four seams just like that, but just sometimes doesn't feel as good as when the seam is kind of going down to up like that, just like your fingers would. A um, couple things about this pitch, uh, how to throw it. Uh, it's usually good to throw it early in the count. Uh, first pitch, second pitch, it's the most accurate, the most speed when the hitters aren't, uh, you know, exactly when they don't exactly have your time their timing down for that type of pitch um, and sometimes good pitch to throw later in the count if we're behind in the count like a 3-0 or a 3-1 just to kind of get back in the count because we do know that this is the most accurate pitch we can throw um, this pitch can be used you know inside outside down or up in the zone um, you know, usually because it generates a lot of spin uh, at the upper levels, this is a pitch, a good pitch to use uh, upward part of the zone above the belt that can get a little bit more rise to it if the rotation is fast enough. And, um, you know, this would be a pitch that, you know, if we were just starting to pitch at age five, six, or seven, uh, whether it's with two fingers or with three fingers, um, a good pitch to, to start out with. Um, just for accuracy purposes and we can get also get the most amount of speed even for the younger kids with this type of pitch too um, if if anyone wants to comment um, Below feel free to if there's anything else that y'all would like to talk about for the four seam fastball uh, Guys, you can also go on the digital coaching for any kind of feedback and check out the rest of the website. All right. Thanks